Up for sale, 1980 Pontiac Trans Am pace car. I'm gonna walk around it, tell you about the car, fire it up and then drive it. If you do enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more videos like this. Thank you. Like I said, 1980 Pontiac Trans Am official Y85 pace car. Finished in, of course, pace car colors with pace car uh, decals, whatnot, the bird, your 4.9 liter turbo. Uh, you know, as always, walk around to tell you about the car, fire it up, and then we'll drive it. So we'll start here in the front. Um, it looks to be, well, the odometer shows 28,000. I was a previous owner of 26 years, 1996, 1995, I believe. Um, it's definitely, and you'll see as I go around, it's pretty much all original. And it's in very nice condition. It's just a couple of vague things. Of course, with the plastic here, you can't help but get a couple of these on your original paint. See another little one right there. Um, the hood fitment, though, as you see there, that's the way it should be. Little tiny stone chip right there. Um, you got your proper decal, your turbo 4.9. Uh, there, another little stone chip right there that in there that's cool um more proper decals throughout the car whatnot well, your pontiac on the windshield anyway so um a little mark right here however this is very nice um you see a couple little marks here on that the gray in the front looks to be in very nice condition if i had to pick something on the car that was repainted it might be the gray because this looks very nice compared to the plastic here of course with with a little bit of checking on it so that's just something that i have noticed so why don't i pop the hood here we'll open it up oh i need two hands again Pause the video accidentally. Here we go. Your 4.9 liter turbo in there. That's whole idea. The concept of that's pretty cool. Original stamping there. Um, pretty much all factory original. The only thing I can tell that's not with the car is the little piece of, I guess, part of this. I call it a snorkel that connects from there to there. That looks like the only thing that's missing. Um, even got your smog smog pump in place which is pretty cool to see again sometimes they take that out um your stickers there um body stamping right there of course another one right there and this all looks very nice and tidy of course um so under you see your shielding from the supercharger or the turbo excuse me which is also pretty cool and of course your trim tag in place with the Y85 code on it for your pace car. So we will keep going. Uh, another thing I've noticed going down the car is that the windshield is in excellent condition. And of course the previous owner of 26 years with the 28,000 on the odometer, you would think if it was more miles, there would be stone chips on here, more, more wear on that. There's not. Again, the gray on there is very nice. The dash pad has no cracks in there. Again, the little things like that. Um, so we'll keep going here. Nice door fitment. The doors do not sag. Maybe just a couple stone chips down there from uh, any kind of stones kick it, getting kicked up, which, of course, is common. You know, a couple touch-ups on the edge here. And you can tell this is original from like your hand rubbing on it. You see a little bit of wear there. And I wouldn't even say wear, just a marking, you, you know, things that would make sense. A couple stone chips there. Um, your T-tops, of course, not a lot of wear, of course, a couple marks on it, but again, not a lot of wear on them. So let's hop in. Another sign that I've seen, I can't find a paint line in here, of course. You got your factory sticker in there as well. Stamping right there. There's your factory door panel. You see a little bit of a little discoloration on the top. Again, you got 
T-top, so the sun's always coming in. Excuse me. Again, I don't see a paint line here. Uh, your seats are mint. Awesome condition. The console's awesome. This seat's awesome. Your seat belt is nice. We had a 72,000 mile pace uh, Trans Am originally. And I could kind of tell differences between that car and this one as far as this one making me believe the 28's original. Um, also, I learned that the 80 pace car is the highest option or came with the majority of the options. So something cool that I'll show you, which you probably already know. Well, the factory buzzer still works button there watch this Ta -da. that power trunk that's pretty dang cool a um, couple things I've noticed the original radio is out I'm not sure why I have it in the trunk but the horn works clock works which is always the first thing to go that's the funny thing uh, but all this plastic here the, the dash all that that's all in very nice condition so we'll keep going down to the back. Again, they open and close nice. They don't sag. Another sign. Um, your back windshield here. A couple. I, I, normally I take stickers off, but I felt that this one looked pretty old. And that one as well. So, you know, if you don't like them, just take them off. Um, excuse me. This back deck here. Also in very nice condition. And again, really not too many paint flaws on the car. I mean, this all looks fantastic that you see here. Um, another thing I've noticed, the floors of the car are awesome. Um, they still hold that like factory, I don't want to call it white, but it's very nice condition. I have a picture of that, that'll be on the ad. The rear is original with the tag on it, still the, the, uh, the diff, whatever the hell that says, I'm sorry. Um, Let me open this up. Oh, let me show you the top first. I already know. Trunk fitment, awesome. Another thing here. Original paint, stamping. This all is super nice. Again, in there, factory markings, all that. Stamping there. Stamping there. This all looks very nice. There's your radio. There. Oh, I'm going to pause the video. I got a binder or something I wanted to show you. I'll just give me one second. All right, I'm back. I had said flag. There's the pace car with the flags. I guess this is the flag that goes with the car. Uh, jack and tool kit, spare. With the bottle, I can feel, I can feel the bottle in there that would pump the gas. Let me see. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that. That's, <laughs> that's original. And that's definitely a sign right there that that's even with the car anymore. That's got really old tape over the original labeling on there to preserve that cool okay here's your book with the flag um some not whatever not really that's not important some late some of that and then here is telephone directory your 80 owner's manual and your 80 well turbocharged okay two different manuals okay anyway radio flag jack that tire is nice to see. Again, weather stripping here. This is super nice. Um, so we'll keep going. I mean, look at the lower there. That's a very nice condition. Um, the owner said that he bought it with 25 on the odometer. So really, it's only been driven 3,000 miles in 26 years. Which is why in the pictures there's some surface rust in some spots, like the rear end is has surface rust on it, like the areas that are prone to that from sitting, of course.
Nice fitment on the door there. How's the lower? Lower's great. This door jam's really, really nice. Excuse me, door panel is really, really nice. Not even that that uh, discoloration on the top. And again, look at the seats, not really discolored, especially here, there's no discoloration. I know 79 Corvettes, they made a pattern like this and this material always wore from sitting in it. But again, as you see here, this is all very nice as well. So we'll be up for sale on my website, nextgenclassiccars.com and eBay. Both links will be in the description of the video. If you want to check it out, let us know. Y85 1980 Pace Car Trans Am. Four point nine liter turbo. See again here, nice fitment there. Automatic, which is the turbo 350 automatic, by the way. T tops, power steering, power brakes. All the goodies power trunk that's pretty cool um so yeah we will fire it up now runs awesome and then we will drive it so thank you